when we think about the royal family, there's a lot of things that we do think, particularly for me, I don't know about you, but I like looking at the ties uh, that William or uh, the Duke of Edinburgh, uh, Prince Edward wear, you know, the king. Look at the fabulous selection of ties, by the way. I think it's Turnbull and Asa, uh, the tailors on German Street in London, that he gets all of his outfits from. Lovely stuff, though, let me tell you. Wish I could afford it, you know what I mean? But of course, when it's royal ladies, there's also the bigger thing, isn't it? I'm always amazed, I don't know about you, how quickly those magazines, very, you know, fast online, work out exactly where the dress is from that the Princess of Wales is wearing, or indeed, you know, the Duchess of Edinburgh, stuff like that. You think, wow, how did you know that? But they do, don't they? But of course, there's other subtle ways that really tell us all about royal fashion. For many people, as I say, we look at the gowns, the hairstyles, the makeup, the bracelet, that sort of stuff. But something Her Majesty the Queen started many years ago, and this was a very clever, shrewd move by her, was to simply move things slightly forward so that people could read her sentiments, her thoughts, without actually speaking. That's right, we're talking about the return of the brooch and exactly what does it mean in royal circles Stinley? how did her majesty the queen convey her most personal feelings through this really beautiful piece of jewelry that now really is making something of a comeback trendsetter you bet it is through their choice of brooches that royal women convey hidden meanings and messages plus secret signs these brooches not only serve as fashion statements but also offer that rare insight into the thoughts and more importantly, the emotions. Queen Elizabeth II in particular was well known to express her sentiments through her vast brooch collection. The Queen had a vast collection of over 100 brooches, each with its own symbolic value. Her choice of brooches, usually worn on the left side, often reflected her connection with the person, country or organisation that she was visiting. In some cases, it would also evoke a memory of someone dear to her. Her brooches became a way for observers to decipher her thoughts and intentions. But Queen Elizabeth was not the only royal to understand the emotional power of what jewellery can do. The younger generation of royals have also embraced the brooch code and its very subtle meanings. They now wear brooches in a tribute to the late Queen herself, carrying on the traditions. If like me, you want to know exactly what the thoughts are of senior ladies when they're out and about perhaps visiting their charities. Sometimes it can be connected to that. Other times it can be the fact that they simply want to remember a person very close to them. Don't forget to check out their lapel on their left side. And then you too can literally decipher exactly the emotions, the thoughts of all those senior ladies that was all started, of course, by our late and wonderful monarch, Her Majesty the Queen. Truly, when you do look again, you'll be fascinated to see exactly what you can find out. And right now, Catherine is really embracing that fashion. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.